Hi everyone, this is Jason Zak from Nathaniel School of Music. In this video, we have a quiz for you to help you develop a variety of aspects of music but focusing on the main topic which is intervals. Now to recognize intervals using our ear, it's not just the ear which is in play. We have to look at the perspective. Are you looking at intervals with respect to a parent note or the root note or the a drone, so to speak, or the sa of the song? Or are you looking at intervals in a situational way? In a situational context, you could be looking at intervals with respect to a chord. So maybe it went from C minor. So then everything you're hearing at that point would be with respect to the C or the root of the C minor chord. So you may have to kind of give up or forget or temporarily lose the, the thought of the root of the original scale, which might be E flat, for instance. Uh, another perspective of looking at intervals is looking at the neighboring notes. What came before and what is going to come after. So you should also have the ability to predict this. And a lot of us think when you have to figure out intervals by year or any musical thing by year, you tend to need to have you need to have absolute pitch. Absolute pitch is trying to say, okay, C or A flat, E flat. And so on. Now, I'm not doing this to prove to you that I have absolute pitch. I don't actually have absolute pitch. It's just that now having done this lesson, I've been playing music for about maybe five hours before this shoot. So I've taught a class, I've done a recording and I've been involved with something or the other, you know, a jam session with musicians and so on. So we tend to talk and chat about this almost like saying that is blue. That is blue. That is blue endlessly in, until you remember that, oh yeah, that is blue. So I would imagine that perfect pitch can be developed at a very, very young age when we were kids, you know, before below the age of 11 or 12. So if you're someone like that watching the video, good for you. You can develop perfect pitch. Figure it out right now. Or else, if you're like me or an adult learner, <clears throat> what you need to do is look at relative pitch, which is the distance between an interval from some notes. So if you take C, then you need to figure out, okay, C, E flat, which is a minor third, C, A flat. So the sound of that minor six, which is A flat, is in my head only because there's a C in play. C, A flat or C, F sharp, which is a tritone. So we've done a lot of videos to delve into the theory and how to recognize intervals by ear. I suggest you check them out. We'll leave you a bunch of them in the description. However, in this video, it's going to be a series of quiz questions to help you detect intervals from different perspectives. And you will find me giving you some hints, introducing to you to the question and obviously telling you the answer. So just like any old quiz, you need to watch the question, follow my briefing, pause the video, don't wait for me to say the answer, pause it, you guess the answer. Check out the answer after I narrate the final answer with my explanation. That's how the whole process will go. And the questions are going to be very interesting. It's not just going to be like an app where C, that, and you have to guess the interval. It's not going to be as boring as that. For that, you have apps which honestly are boring. So if you feel your interval chops are not up to speed, do consider checking out other videos in the description and learning more about the subject. And don't think that interval recognition is only for the year or to train your year. There is a lot of theory you need to know as well. So year training and theory come together, join forces to give you the correct answer. All the best with the quiz questions. Hope you do well. And we also have a regular weekly series on Instagram where we do questions on the weekend. So do consider following us on Instagram too. That'll be awesome. Right, everyone. So let's look at melodic pitch freezing. It's basically a simple concept. What you do is you hear some music. In this case, you're going to hear some notes. And the song is going to pause or I'm going to just tell you the last note. What is the last note? And you'll have to answer that last note with respect to the first note, ideally, or with respect to the root, or with respect to something. So in this particular question, all I want you to do is tell me the interval. I want you to tell me the interval with respect to the first note. And the first note is also played as a chord. 
it's being played as a full on chord a triad so that root from with respect to that root what will be the last note which we emphasize on at the very end of the performance all the best right so you could argue that the root is this that's the first chord which was played with the first root and then the last note was two so what is that that feels like like a tension doesn't it so two two that would have been a perfect fifth two two and then two so what's happening to the fifth it's getting raised by one step and it's not getting raised by two steps two steps would have made it a major sixth we are raising it by one step and when you raise a perfect fifth by one step you call the resultant interval as an augmented fifth now you could also look at this the other way and say that an augmented fifth is also a minor sixth so if you are answering this you could say two 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 that would be an a sharp so the first note is a d a b flat or a sharp but if you wanted to call it b flat then what you could do is d b b flat and you still arrive at the same thing right so that was about question 1 let's move forward right so in this exercise there's a cluster of notes it's a chord basically and you need to figure out what are all the intervals contained within that particular chord which is a cluster of notes so it might first of all make sense to figure out what the root is amidst all the notes that you just heard so the root is e flat to and then amidst that there's a cluster of things which are played between the two hands and there are five of them in total that would form the pentatonic shape or the pentatonic scale that will be to ru 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 part of the e flat major pentatonic basically so if you play all those five notes together you'll get this cluster of notes so it's good to hear a bunch of things and try to figure out not only with you can start with triads this was just a fun exercise to give you a bunch of them which has five notes so let's move on to another exercise right so in this melody there's a set of notes so the root is b flat and you have to guess the last two notes you could either guess it intervalically or you could tell us what the actual notes are in the first place but don't use the piano listen to it figure out what those intervals are and then see so let's listen so the notes would be tu ru 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 so the intervals would be 1 if b flat is the root tu ru 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 that's sa re ma ga 1 2 4 3 all major scale intervals 1 major second perfect fourth major third and then the last two would be tu ru that would be a flat 7 flat 6 or a minor 7th minor 6th or an augmented 5th if you want to call it because augmented 5th is the same as minor 6th i love that interval so do 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 so what is the minor 7th with respect to b flat a flat and what is the augmented 5th with respect to or my, minor 6th it will be a flat minor 7th and g flat will be the minor 6th 
So if you're finding that a bit tricky, not to worry, head over to our description. There'll be a lot of ear training lessons waiting for you. And if you want to learn this in a very structured way, you can always consider our members only courses on our Nathaniel School website, which have a lot of lectures waiting for you, not just on ear training, but also music theory, piano, foundation, intermediate, notation, and a lot more coming your way. Right, so in this question, there are four notes or four intervals. You have to figure out what they are. And the first note would be the root. So with from the, from the root, you have to tell the remaining. So let me walk you through the answer, which are these four intervals, A flat, which is the root, then we move up to the augmented fifth, A flat, E, A flat, E, D, that's a tritone, D, G, which is a major seventh, so that'll be A flat, E, D, G, root, augmented fifth, tritone, or augmented fourth, those were the four notes right so let's do something with the bass guitar i'm going to play you a small little bass riff and you have to tell me the last note you can either tell it intervalically or in actuals the root is b b let's have some fun with this the root is b and i'm going to play a little lick tell me what the last note is Also try and guess the interval as well, as well as the note. One more time. Right, so the riff was to to ru 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 to 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 ru to ru so to ru to ru to ru. So that would be a tritone, which is a flat five. It has a lot of tension. Tritone. Right. So in our quest for interval perfection, let's change the instruments around even more. Here's some melodica for you. And the same story, you have to figure out what is the last note. And uh, listen to it. And see if you can get it. Play it. Repeat. You have all the time in the world and let's figure out the answer on the other side. the root would be F sharp and the melodica lick went like which is a B with respect to the F sharp B with respect to the F sharp is what interval F sharp G sharp A sharp B perfect fourth also to confirm the answer the last note is a bit unstable with respect to the first note it's not as stable as a major third or a perfect fifth or a unison the same thing something else but it's not highly tense so it's a b which is an anticipation that's what we call it in music right so let's bring in some familiarity i'm going to play you a good old nursery rhyme and we've messed it up slightly at the very end or not at the very end at the penultimate chord so at the penultimate or the second last chord i want you to tell me what that weird note is with respect to the root of that penultimate chord okay so if the la second last chord's root is something with respect to that what is the the interval right so all the best let's give it a listen so you may know this one or else I fear you may not have gone to a school. We 
need a twinkle on C major. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. So I just changed it instead of it being what you are. I did what you are. Now, this is a very interesting note because it's off the radar. It's off the C major scale. So it's the it's the minor third. You could look at it as E flat or you can even look at it as an augmented second where you're raising the second. What you are. So you're raising that to go. What you are. So that's probably the technically right term thing to say. How I wonder what you are. You could even call it the sharp nine. That could also work if you had a seven in there. But with respect to the penultimate chord, that's a dominant chord. So the dominant chord is usually the penultimate chord. It will be the G, which is the 5 going to C. So with respect to G, that note, what you ooh, 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 will be an augmented interval. Do, 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 do. A sharp 5 with respect to the G and a sharp 2 with respect to the C. With respect to the C, it will be a what you are, which is a sharp 2. And with respect to a G, it will be a what you a sharp 5, augmented 5. So intervals could be with respect to the true root, with respect to the current chord, or maybe even with respect to the previous note. So I suggest you check out a lot of our YouTube videos where we focus exclusively on ear training. And this set of quiz questions was just to give you an intro into the field or maybe if you're very good with intervals, it'll be a nice way to test your skills and uh, have an appreciation for the subject. And also it's a very important subject. Intervals are the building blocks of everything in music, whether it's melody, harmony, well, not rhythm. Rhythm is different, but intervals are the building blocks of everything else. So practice your intervals theoretically, learn how to sing them, uh, learn how you need to know them theoretically you need to know how to sing them you need to recognize them and obviously you need to execute them on your principal instrument be it piano bass guitar violin trumpet or whatever it may be have fun with these questions there'll be a lot more coming your way and don't forget to subscribe to our channel there's a subscribe button somewhere there don't forget to hit that particular button see you in the next one so how did you fare in the quiz? Let me know in the comments and let me know what challenges you might face. Maybe we can do a tutorial moving forward to kind of improve on those aspects. So this quiz might have been a reality check to see where you stand in the field of interval recognition. Cheers and catch you in the next one. There'll be more quizzes coming your way.